listeners, Arthur here with the Arthur Podcast. I'm in a big fight with Buster right now. Really big. Sometimes best friends do not act like best friends. I mean, did Orville and Wilbur Wright argue with each other when they were building the airplane? Probably. Ah! DW! What are you doing here? Arthur, I'm the director of our podcast. No, you're not. And it's my podcast. And it's Sunday morning in our kitchen. Where else would I be? Anyway, weren't Orville and Wilbur Wright brothers? Yeah, and brothers get annoyed with their little siblings. Yeah, and little sisters get annoyed with their brothers. Well, Buster and I usually find a way to work things out. But this time, I'm not so sure. It all started yesterday. Yep, with the big snow. Podcast people, Arthur was so excited, he came running down to breakfast with his snow pants on. Snow day, everyone! No school! It's Saturday. Oh, yeah. Right. Still, look at that snow! I gotta call Buster. We can build snowmen and go sledding! And Mom said you have to help Dad shovel the driveway. Ugh. Why can't you do it? I'm gonna help Mom clear off the car. Oh, <sighs> okay. I guess I've already got my snow pants on. Wow! Dad, you've shoveled a lot! Well, <clears throat> the faster I shovel, the sooner I get inside for coffee in the Saturday paper. But, uh, thanks for coming to help, Arthur. Two is faster than one. Dig in on the sidewalk there. Okay. <clears throat> hey, David. Hi, Mrs. Herzog. Big snow, hey? Arthur, you wouldn't want to shovel my walk, too, would you? Um, I... I kind of have plans, Mrs. Herzog. I could pay you ten dollars. Wow, really? Ten dollars? Sure. I'll send him right over to you after we finish up. Fantastic. See you soon. Pat! DW, I've already told you. You're not the director, so you can't cut the story. But I want to know what you do with the money. Mrs. Herzog gave you ten bucks. Where is it now? I used the money to buy smoothies for Buster and me. Why? Because we were still friends then. But now I wish I hadn't, because that was when I told Buster about all the money I made. Wow, Arthur! Ten dollars! For one driveway! You should go into business. Well, I could, but then I'd have to spend the whole day shoveling snow. Let's say you did eight jobs a day. You could make, um, $8,000. Arthur, you could buy a spaceship. No, Buster, it's $80 a day. I can't buy a spaceship. What about a used one? I can't buy any spaceship. But I could buy rollerblades. Or a catcher's mitt. Or, or even a new sled. Or a bunch of comic books. Or a new neon bike helmet. You're right, Buster. I could make a bunch of money. I can't just sit here and talk all day. I've got work to do. See you, Buster. Bye, Arthur. Oh, wait. Are you going to finish your smoothie? Huh, guess not. Don't mind if I do. Hey, podcast people. <sighs> it's so cold. This is the beginning of my snow shoveling business. <sighs> But don't worry, I'll keep making podcasts even when I'm super rich. Hey, Arthur, we're gonna go sledding. Wanna come? Uh, thanks, Francine, but I still have some work to do. Work? But it's Saturday. <gasps> Is this a homework assignment? No, I'm just doing it for some extra money, Binky. Suit yourself. Remember us when you're rich. Bye, Arthur! Bye, Arthur! <laughs> come on, Don't yeah. throw that snowball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Snow is heavier than you think. Cut! This shoveling part is boring, Arthur. Get to the big fight with Buster. But, D.W., I didn't just shovel Mrs. Herzog's walk. I shoveled Mr. Haney's walk, and Mrs. McGrady's walk, and Dr. Yehuda's driveway, and then the Prendergast driveway. And then I was walking up to the Bro Shoe House. Oh, the one with the really long driveway? Yes, and that's when I ran into Buster. He was already on the front porch, and he had a shovel. Hey, Buster, 
Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I took your advice. I want to be rich, too. My advice? Yeah, about making lots of money by shoveling snow. Mr. Brochu just hired me. But a big driveway like this one would go faster with the two of us. Yeah, I, I guess it would. Great. You start at the far end of the driveway, and I'll start up here on the porch. Buster, I wondered if you could break those icicles off the porch for me. Will do. And my partner, Arthur, will start shoveling. Thank you, mon ami. Thanks for the hot cocoa, Mr. Brochu. I love those mini marshmallows. Hey, hey, job well done, Buster. Are you almost done, Arthur? Almost done? I've almost done it all. Good work on this driveway, partner. And look, because it's so long, he gave us $15. Since I was here first, I'll take eight, and you can have seven. What? Buster, I did all the work. What are you talking about? I worked on the house, and you worked on the driveway. You spent your time breaking icicles and drinking hot cocoa. That cocoa was for customer relations. And my mittens are soaked from those icicles. It's not fair, Buster. I should at least get the extra dollar. But I was here first. But shoveling snow is way harder than breaking off icicles. Some partner you are, yelling at me after our first job. Well, then this partnership is over. Fine. Fine. Cut! So that was the fight? Yes, that was the fight. So what are you going to do now? Well, it snowed again last night. I'm going to get back out there and shovel. Without Buster. Are you taking the podcast people with you? Well, yeah, why not? Come on, podcast people. Let's go shovel that snow. Okay, here we go. I'm going to ask Mrs. Herzog if I can shovel her walk again. Hey, Mrs. Herzog. Need your walk shoveled? Sorry, you're too late, Arthur. I've already promised the job to that nice boy on all the posters. Posters? Here. Look, he gave me one. Buster's Magic Snow Shoveling Company. Watch the snow just disappear. No icy patches like certain other shoveling businesses. And he's in a cute little magician's outfit. <laughs> he put them up all over the neighborhood. Um, uh, thanks, Mrs. Herzog. Stay warm out there, Arthur. Okay, listeners, his posters are everywhere. If he has posters, then I need posters. You're home? I thought you were shoveling. I had to make posters. That's your face. Yep, here it is. Everclean Snow Shoveling Company. Ellawood City's first and best snow removal business. Come on, let's go put them up. Here, DW. You hold it, and I'll tape it to the telephone pole. Arthur? Hey, you're covering my poster. I am not. You are too. See? Your corner's touching my corner. <gasps> you can't rip down my poster. I just did. Yeah, well, I'll just rip down one of yours then. <gasps> then I'm putting one up. Oh, no, you don't. Don't ah, take don't, that. Don't you dare. No way. <gasps> I'll take no. it. No, wait. You just ripped down a poster for a lost kitten. Oh, forget it. You can have this stupid telephone pole. And get that kitten poster back up. Here, D.W., hold the kitten poster while I tape it. I want in on this snow business. D.W., you can hardly lift a shovel. Yeah, but I can find more jobs for you. For a fee, of course. Hmm. You know, that's not such a bad idea. No one can say no to a little girl. Okay, listeners, this is working great. I'm shoveling, and D.W. is getting me more jobs. So far, she already signed up Mrs. Tibble, and she's coming back for Mr. Haney's now. Hey, Arthur! 
If you can use your little sister, then I can use my mom's megaphone! Magic snow, magic snow, if you're all floating. Magic snow, magic snow, it's the way to go. Hey! Oh, yeah? Well, no one is louder than D.W. Come on, D.W. Who cleans your driveway? Arthur, Arthur! My son's Who gone. cleans your driveway? <laughs> Arthur, Arthur! Bye. Okay, he's gone. Arthur, you've got more trouble. Mr. Haney told me Buster lowered his prices. He's only charging $7 now. What? That's $3 less than what I'm charging. Okay, we'll beat him at his own game. Um, I'll, uh, I'll only charge $5.50. And, uh, and I'll de-ice people's cars for, for free. Ha! I'm working for peanuts. Buster would have to be crazy to compete with me now. Well, someone is definitely crazy. Oh, so hot. Yikes. Ah, and cold. Ooh. Well, listeners, I made it home. Barely. Ah. I'm soaking my frozen feet in some warm water now. I shoveled snow and de-iced cars and broke icicles all day long. Maybe you can cheer me up by telling me what you do on a snow day. On a snow day, I stay inside sometimes and I have hot chocolate with my parents. On a snow day, I like to go out in the snow and play with my friends, make a snowman, and have a snowball fight with our parents. Make snowmen and slide on the snow hill and like do a snowball fight. One time, we actually used my friend's hat and put it on the snowman and that was really funny. Huh, that sounds really fun. Definitely more fun than what I did. Listen, podcast people, this is D.W., the director. It's Monday morning. Arthur is still sleeping. We're going to wake him up now. But here's what you need to know. It snowed again. Piles and piles of it. So Arthur has a lot of shoveling to do. No school, Arthur. It's a snow day. Grab your shovel. We're going to be rich. Rich. Huh? More snow? Oh, no! <sighs> well, listeners, here we are. Right. Oh, shoveling the same driveway. Right. Oh, again. Hey, Arthur. Buster. Hi. So, how's business? Okay. But I'm probably going to have to cut the poster budget. Hey, are you getting those weird puffy blisters on your toes? Toes, heels, thumbs, you name it. Well, I better go. I promised to do the temple parking lot for two dollars. Yeah, I'm doing the community center playground for one. What's that? Is that Muffy in a snowplow? Is that Bailey for Butler driving it? There it is, number 12. This is the house to plow, Bailey. Let's do it. Excellent. That's another $20 for us. Okay, number 18 is next. Move it out, Bailey. Um, Buster, how would you feel about skipping the temple parking lot? Are you trying to steal my job? No. Let's give Muffy both our jobs. It's a snow day. And, well, you don't get that many chances to go sledding with your best friend. I heard the curvy part of the hill is super fast today. Maybe if we put our profits together, we can buy a new sled. Okay, listeners. Arthur's Everclean snow shoveling is closed for the season. And Buster's magic snow shoveling has disappeared. Poof! Abracadabra! See you next time. Bye, Podcast Nation. <laughs> let's go sledding! Hey, let's make a snow alien! Come on, Buster! Snow fight! Yes! <laughs> You've been listening to the Arthur Podcast. Hey, parents, do you want your kids to answer my next inbox question? 
First, go to the Arthur website at pbskids.org to find out what I'll be asking. Then email me a voice recording of your child's response to arthur at wgbh.org. Your child's answer might even be featured on a future podcast. That's the show, podcast people. If you liked it, ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, play games, and more at pbskids.org. The Arthur Podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids in partnership with Gen Z Media and distributed by PRX. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful kind of day. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm. GBH Kids.